All right, so this is a review on the album Khalid Khalid by DJ Khalid. Um, yeah, as you know with DJ Khalid, yeah, you know what? Let me see if I can do something real quick because this is all right. Boom, I know you hear the sounds in the background, yeah, don't be alarmed. Um, oh, this is it, this is not doing what I think it's gonna do. All right, but anyway, so basically, long story short, right? Um there's, let me get to it. There's 14 tracks on this album. But with this album cover, one thing I like about Tidal is he's, it's like he's praying or I don't know what he's doing, but he, he, they're outside somewhere, right? Well, Khaled, DJ Khaled. And then on the left of him is one of his children. On the right of him is one of his children, um, which is interesting to see. You know what I mean? Like having his, his kids there on the photo um, album. Um, and they're wearing this like, similar colored shirts and similar colored shorts, although kind of didn't wear wearing no shorts. Where they are looks very nice type of living. Yeah, very calm and peaceful. That's what I can see from this image imagery. Um, so there is the song um, Thankful featuring Lil Wayne and Jeremiah. Um, then there's Every Chance I Get featuring Lil Baby and Lil Dirk. Then there's Big Paper featuring Cardi B. Then there's We Wait We Are Going Crazy featuring her and, and Migos. Raw, her and Migos on one track. Only DJ Khaled can pull that off. Um then there is um I Did It featuring Post Malone and there's someone else I have to see this properly because uh Okay, so Post Malone, The Baby, Mega Stalin, and Little Baby. That feature is mad. You would expect the baby and Megan to stand in a little baby on one track. But Post Malone? Never expected that. I didn't, I didn't think he wanted to return, return doing hip hop, but anyway. Anyway, we, 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 we progress, never digress. Then there is Let It Go featuring uh, 21 Savage and. Give me a second. Let me get the credit. And Justin Bieber. Interesting, that's very interesting itself. Then there is Body in Motion featuring Bryson Tiller and give me a second, let me pull this up properly. And uh, Little Baby and Roddy Rich. Um, yeah, Roddy Rich, Roddy Rick, Roddy Rich, Little Baby and Bryson Tiller. Okay, yeah, 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 and um. Then there's the song Popstar featuring Drake. Uh, what else is there? Then there is This Is My Year featuring Big Sean and um, Rick. Yeah, Big Sean, Ricky Ro Rose. I'm not calling him Rick Ross. Um, and there's reason why I'm not going to call him Rick Ross. It's, it's Ricky Rose. I'll, I'll give him that name, Ricky Rose. Rose but not yeah, me. Anyway, then it also a Boogie with the hoodie and Puff Daddy. Yes, the feature is written as Puff Daddy. You know, like the early days of Bad Boy Entertainment. You know, Puff Daddy. Yeah. So that's interesting. He went back to that name there. Um, I'm surprised he never called himself Love, the way he's moving and the way DJ Khaled is. You wouldn't. Anyway. Then there is Sorry Not Sorry. By Nas, Jay Z, and uh, well, listen, you saw the reaction. I don't know if you've seen a reaction video to that song, but you know it features. So, anyway, then there is Just Be featuring uh, Dustin Timberfake. Yes, I'm calling him Dustin Timberfake. Um, yeah, Dustin Timberfake. And then there is another song with Bryson Tiller called I Can Have It All, and that's also featuring. Her and Meek Mill. Not very interesting collab. Then there's the song Grease featuring Drake. Then there is Where You Come From featuring Bojo Banton, Capleton, and and Bojo Banton. So yeah, no, I think I said it now. Bounty Killer, Capleton, and Bojo Banton. Like, fam, in 2021, that feature. Anyway, anyway. Um, and they say that best one for last, and I like that. 
Um, but I was going to mention as well, yeah, so just, just quickly, I genuinely believe that with, with, um, with this album, it, it didn't, it, there's a lot of songs that have similarities to songs I've heard before. Um, I don't know if it's a sample or the way it's produced, but the production value to me, it's good production value, but I guess it's because, hmm. I right, put it this way, the era I grew up with DJ Khaled, yeah, was he was producing songs like, well, I don't know if he was the actual producer, but like songs like were taking over or, you know, um, uh, what's the other ones? We're taking over. Uh, who else? What else? What else? What else? Um, all I do is win. Them type of drinks. Do you see what I mean? So, I guess I'm expecting those type of anthem type of feel, but I don't necessarily get that feel from any of these songs. That's just me. I don't get that feel. Maybe it's because in a, he's in a different headspace. I don't know. But I just don't get that feel in it. So it's a nice body of work to have these artists together. Mine is Dustin Timberfake. He shouldn't I, I wouldn't have put him on any project to do with anything to do with hip hop culture, especially with his fake cast apology to Janet Jackson. He doesn't deserve to be nowhere near. Anyway, let me not rant. But yeah, so I'm trying to, at, at, at the same time, I'm just trying to let you understand that there's levels to this thing. You see what I'm saying? But what I'm going to do is, if you click the link in the description box below, um, the link to the uh, album is in the description box below. I'm going to give the album, I'll give it a, a 7 out of 10. Um, it's probably an album that's going to have to grow on me. Um, I mean, I did like making the stadiums bars though. I didn't like it per se, but it was a thing of like I knew I know there's potential there. Do you see what I mean? Like I knew she can rhyme about something completely different, which she proved again in this particular song. She got potential. She just needs to be open and free and comfortable, uh, like, and she would shell off. Like I'm telling you, she, like if she if she gets proper artist um development, she will shell off. She will go off. I'm telling you, yeah. I'm t like remember this video. If she ever does. Take it to the next level. Remember this video. Remember I said that. Remember. Yeah. Like I, I, I can. It's like I can almost see potential in other people. But anyway. Um, the link to the original video is in the description box below. Um, yeah. Got any of you guys want to do a review or do a reaction on. Leave that in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next. We the best. You the best. Yeah, anyway, it's true though.